Tracers contain radioactive isotopes that help identify diseased organs. A radioactive tracer is a chemical compound that emits gamma radiation, which is taken orally or injected, and then its journey around the body can be tracked using the gamma ray camera. Many different radioactive isotopes are used for tracers, but it is important that these isotopes have a short half-life so that the activity of the isotopes decreases to very low in a few days. Radioactivity is not only used to trace medical problems, but to treat them as well. Since low doses of radiation have no lasting effect, but high doses could cause cells to stop working properly, and very high can kill cells. Cancer can be cured by killing the cancer cells inside the body using radiation. To prevent this from killing the other living cells as well, chemicals are used to locate only the cancer cells, and then we use radiation to kill them. Gamma radiation is used to kill microorganisms on medical equipment. We call this irradiation. Items that have to be sterilized are kept in secure bags so that they can't be recontaminated before use. Some food products are also sterilized similarly to kill bacteria that may cause the food to rot. However, not many people agree to this and it is not used much. This irradiation process is not to be confused with contamination. Irradiation is a deliberate process, whereas contamination is usually accidental. Gamma rays are used to examine the contents of baggages in airports. The gamma rays can pass through more objects than X-rays, and so can be used to check for faults when casting or wielding. Gamma ray equipment is small and does not require a lot of power. Radioactive isotopes can also be used to check the flow of liquids like monitoring leaks from power stations and radioactive tracers can measure the rate of the spread of sewage.